Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Atelier Rizza Trade Routes of the Cloud Nebula. I'm the Mysterious JG. And I'm Lethal Feline. So, we got, uh, we got our first steps, we're continuing to make them. And now, so we, now we did Imagining the Beyond. That was just a, a little tiny, tiny adventure compared to taking the first step. Where are we, what are we doing now? Visit Claudia to brag about it a bit. Oh, okay. So now we're going to go visit Claudia to brag. Of course, as one does. I'm, sh I'm sure glad we read that because uh, there was kind of no indication. Of oh, yeah, I know your dad doesn't like us, but we're going to come in here in the middle of the night also. I'm going to accidentally go to the classroom. Even though that's not where you are. You're in the fairy I mean, at the... At the very least in this game, you can just follow the blue door, yeah. and you'll get to the thing that you need to get to. Beyond the green door. Except that it's a blue door. My goodness. It is green. Well, at least this time. It's translated from Chinese. Yo, Claudia, are you here standing out on the foyer at 9 o'clock at night? <laughs> Directly in front of me, clearly in my field of vision. Hello, Rizek. I mean, the Rizek. Good timing. I just prepared some tea and snacks. Or do you prefer I call them the tea and the snacks? Nope. Well, I am the one with the definite article. I mean, really? <laughs> Thanks. That's exactly what I was hoping for. You know, is it just me or is it... Oh, wow. We got like a different art style here. Yeah, we're all adorable all of a sudden. Well, I mean, they're, already, they're like adorable. It's a different flavor of adorable. It's like vanilla adorable versus chocolate adorable. I, can I say that the idea that the Rizza has spent her entire life growing up with Lent and Tao, we can make fun of them. Seems like they're all good friends. She apparently has not had a girlfriend ever. <laughs> this is this is adorable. Mm -hmm. Well then, please enjoy. Your food is always the best. Have we eaten together before? Yes. You think so? The tea is an expensive import, but I baked these cookies myself. Wow, that's awesome. I'm terrible at stuff like that. So you've definitely got my respect. I can't alchemize cookies. I'm nothing compared to you and the others. I am lowly scum. You're all working so hard to achieve your dreams, whereas I'm just baking cookies and wasting time. I know Lin Tao have their reason to work as hard as they do. And the same is true for you with alchemy, yes? By the way, your head, your head looks like an adorable cookie. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to get the hang of it anyway. I was just doing it because I was bored. I'm really enjoying myself, though. Hmm. Mm hmm. I still ask, I still ask Lin Tao to come, you know, come with me to gather things. But I'm getting used to, you know, just making these long trips to the mainland. And so they chatted deep into the night. That must be nice. By the way, we're back to the normal art style now. So I love when we entered this scene, there's just like a gust of air blowing her sleeves around. <laughs> I I wish I could go on adventures with everyone, too. Has she got, like, bells hanging off her hair? Or what the hell is that? No, she has some sort of, like, weird sash around her shoulders. Oh. The, it, it, she has the metal things, hold, you know, holding it down so it doesn't fly away. Yeah, like, Lila needs that for her hair. Or her ears. Yeah. <laughs> I'm those ears, woman. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I think I know how you feel. If we can get strong enough to protect you, we should go and talk to your dad about it. Really? You would do that? Do you promise? Oh, thank you. Pleased to meet you. Thank you. But I mean, sure, I guess. Promise. Sure, I guess, promise. There's nothing odd about Weird that. Weird thing to ask somebody. Do you promise to talk to my dad about my personal problems? Eventually decides to return home. But we'll, we'll start you out here, wandering around this house. Welcome, the Rizzo. Please make yourself comfortable. Jumps on the couch. There we go. Oh, you could use any kind of pot, even a chamber pot for alchemy. Because he's... Do not, well, do not take his lines. <laughs> That's just, I'm just referring to the fact that his line is not... I don't know why I bothered to come out uh, here if we got to go to the business room. That is, that is two buttons away at any time. Oh, there we go. 
There's a shot for the pervs. Who is Mio? Mio is my mom. Oh. Riza, you have a guest. It's Mr. Valance's lovely daughter. She has a lovely daughter. Okay, let her in. Jeez, Mom, so nice to her. I was so it's a pain in my ass. Which you can almost see at this angle. Hello there, Riza. I'm sorry your mom is nice to me. It's all right, Claudia. I don't have any food or anything, but feel free to make yourself at home. Feel free I to got make these barrels. Yeah, feel free to make me some cookies. The barrels apparently a running joke in the series, so. Thank you. Pleased to meet you. Is this is this you here today? No boys around. Yeah, let's time, both busy, you know, finding things, reading things. Hey, is your is that your flute? What's up? <laughs> Do I get to see your flute? Let and Tao busy, you know, farting, scratching themselves, boy stuff. Well, I've been trying to work up my courage, and the boys keep asking me about it, which is so rude. Uh, well, sorry, I can't hear you. What was that? Your voice is too high pitched. So sorry, just let me catch my breath. You're having an asthma attack. All right, all right, calm before down. <laughs> okay. What, what? Are you, like, having a panic attack? What is up with you? I feel like she's going to turn to face camera and we're going to see that she's kind of like some kind of monster simph morph disguised as Claudia. <laughs> her, her face is melting. She can't talk she right did. because she's barely holding her Claudia form. <laughs> she's a skin job this whole time wearing Blade Runner <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, no. She's, uh... Oh, my God. I'm blanking. What, what was the... Um... The Kojima game from back in the day with the, uh... The oh, yes, um... Snatcher. snatcher. She's, She's a snatcher. snatcher. As long as it's you, I think I can gather my courage and er, my flute. The flute? Oh! Oh! You, you wanna play it for me? Because you totally don't have to. I have, like, zero interest in that. When I saw how hard you've all been working, I guess I got kind of jealous. Adia. So, what do you say? Well, first I want to make note that I have Christmas you no know, ornaments on my belt. <laughs> have you noticed that until this point? Because I haven't. <laughs> anyway, sure, I'm going. Christmas ornament? I mean, she's got like some, some vials of like... She's got some blood Look samples. Look on the other side, the left side. There's my Christmas grenade. Christmas grenade, okay. Uh, um... Do I need to indicate on the screen where it is? It's right next to my jacket. Yeah, no, it's... Either way. I get, no, I guess that could be a Christmas ornament. Uh, yeah. She's all... I mean, but if, if that's her belt, she's kind of wearing it wrong. Oh, I'm I not, know how to wear a belt. It's mine. I'm not worried about it. I just, uh, the problem is her, her alchemy quality of her belt is low, so it doesn't angle correctly. I'm not worried about that. I'd just like you to listen to it. Okay. Well, whenever you're ready. I wonder if we'll get the sound or if it is part of the vocalization. Okay, here it goes. She had a great piano sound she's getting out of that flute, too. We could skip this whole scene. I might know music, but I can, even I can tell how pretty this is. I don't know music, but I know what I like. And I do not hate this. Incidentally, thanks for not making fun of my, you know. I thought I did. Woo, thank you very much for listening. That's it this week for Claudia's Music Podcast. Join us next time. Claudia, that was so beautiful. I, I don't know what else to say. I'm literally speechless, even though I'm making a speech. Th th thank you, Darissa. I'm, I'm really happy I could do that. I'm so glad I was able to work up the courage. Oh. I think I'll head home now that you're speechless. I just wanted you to hear me play. Okay, well, man, that was so great. I had no idea she was so sh why is she so shy about it. I hope that she'll do that again someday. She probably won't, though. Sadly, Claudia died on the way home and never played flute again. 
<laughs> the flute had to return to its home planet. <laughs> uh, These poor creatures with the, like, split skulls. They are weird-looking things. I would imagine that's like a scale pattern on top of there. Oh! Oh, is the flute music summoning the powers of darkness? Who is playing that <laughs> shit? Oh my god, what? No, Something's ambling out. Uh-oh. Is it some kind of weasel? If only we had anti-weasel technology. It's a Pokemon. Graveler. Jewelback guy. Jewelback guy, <laughs> Jewelback guy. These things usually oh. only appear on the third level of the abyss. Now it's up here, and it's going to ruin everyone's day. It's full of relics. I've just about had it with you, with the Rizza. Go help your father with the farm work right this instant. <laughs> to be honest, I thought you were just improving that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all so in character, my goodness. I can't, I told you, I gotta do my alchemist. Mom, I can't work. I'm too busy, like, looking into arcane rituals. Like, she should be wearing, like, all black, including, like, black makeup. <laughs> I can't work my job anymore. I have to, like, you know, study the arcane powers of the I, occult. I told you, Mom, I can't go to work. I'm a witch now. Yes, you can. This alchemy stuff is so weird. You're just being lazy, but I won't allow it anymore. She uses alchemy to make attitude adjuster. <laughs> <laughs> she puts Rizzo across her shoulders, spins around. <laughs> That's not weird! You're weird! You're using weird tools to make weird stuff. You realize everyone in town is talking about you, right? It's just a common pot! Ampel told me I could use it in a pinch! Why do you make it sound like it's a bad thing? I mean, Satan hasn't called in three weeks. I think you should be encouraging me! I'm making this place better! It's one thing for you to goof around with Linton Tao. Now you're dragging that Valence girl into it. She has a future. You let Tao don't. You don't know what you're talking about, Mom. You don't understand me. Alchemy is not goofing around. It's what I want to do with my life. I'm going to run away and slam my door. The RZA. All that girl. This is what happens when we started indulging him, which wanted to be called the Rizza instead of Rizzalern. I can't believe Mom called Alchemy weird. Can you believe that? She thinks that I'm just goofing off. Has she ever beaten the shit out of you? If not, you might want to discount yourself lucky. I'm sure she's not the only one. The rest of the village probably feels the same way. Oh, that's great, Lent. Thanks. Thanks for, thanks for supporting your friend there, Lent. Is it my turn to dump on her yet? Ah, oh, the adults are so stubborn, just hiding from the rest of the world here. Of course, we already knew that. Yeah, they're scared of anything that's different. At least Mr. Brennan is willing to try something new. Although some would say that Mr. Brennan does is unnatural. Anyway, I can't focus on my acumens if I'm getting yelled at all the time, which is where you come in. So, I've come up with a super duper... Amazing, awesome plan. Griffinus. Which is? Yeah, Miss Genius Alchemist. What's this incredible power of yours? I mean, plan. Well, you're gonna regret that sarcasm when you hear it. My plan is to build, get this, look at the title card, a secret hideout. Well, you know, I'm so tired of all of these Star Wars we've been living through. And I really do think it's time for us to become Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> this titular lines, folks. They, they really make a game or a series. Mm -hmm. I think I get it. You want to move things out of your room so you won't get yelled at anymore. That's actually a pretty good idea. Consider me surprised. I thought you were dumb as one of those rocks we've been collecting for your alchemy. That's a pretty crappy way to compliment someone, Len, calling them small as a rock. I mean, the game knew I was going to improvise there, I guess. I think it's wonderful, the Rizza, so we'd have our own secret spot. Who said you'd be involved? <laughs> that's right, all to ourselves. That's going to be, a, of course, inconvenient, because I can only teleport to this room for undisclosed reasons. But we will make do. 
Oh, and I guess we'd have to tell him Pell and Lila about it. Also for those aforementioned, you know, underscore reasons. I like I like the fact that what's puzzling about this isn't is that she can only teleport here. Not that she can teleport anywhere. It is the damnedest thing. <laughs> I mean teleport seems natural enough. They're basically our friends now anyway. Well basically you know, Lethal, you're basically my friend. I mean I don't want, I don't want to stretch too far with that. So do you know where you'd want to build it? Of course. There's a house in the, you know, the the, the pixie forest. It would be perfect. It's nice and open. There's allegedly no monsters. Called it lethal. <laughs> Great job on that one. I don't know how you saw that coming. On the mainland, I guess the villagers wouldn't find it because we are living pussy village. And it has a solid foundation that just might work. I'm glad you inspected the foundation. That's very important. <laughs> right? Go ahead and keep the compliments coming. You're amazing, the Rizza. We never would have considered something as difficult as building a house. Like maybe we should I'm start gonna alchemy that son of a bitch. Maybe we should compliment her after this is accomplished. Exactly. My imagination imagination is far. Wait, what? Build a house? What are you guys talking about? Huh? I'm touching my chest to indicate surprise rather than sincerity. Come on. Rizza. Oh, um, I guess a hideout is pretty much a house, huh? Oh, it could have been a cave. What the fuck, guys? That honestly didn't occur to you? No, I feel stupid for getting excited. You think maybe I could use alchemy or something to make it quick and easy? I mean, I do use it for everything else. Yeah, let's combine a beehive a with a bitter root. Boom, house. We probably need a silver beehive. And I can use my side. Hmm. Why are you asking us? You're the alchemist here. We don't have agency. <laughs> but why don't you talk to Impel? Maybe he can give you some pointers. Our last quest from him was leave me the fuck alone and figure out your own stuff to do. <laughs> Act independently. That's pretty much our, our final order from Impel. Yeah, right. I'll do that. Impel. How do I alchemize an A-frame house? It doesn't need to be too big. Whoa! Mm. Holy shit, dude! <laughs> we, we're no longer taking the first step. I don't know what to do in this crazy mixed up world. Man, we're only like halfway through this video and it's like we've just reached the stopping point for like an entire season of the Rizzo's Adventures. Holy shit. Alright. Well. We gotta save for that, because I don't know why. It just feels like you save when something momentous happens, even if there's no particular danger coming. I mean, if we don't, we might, like, you get killed by a monster, and then we could never get to <laughs> the post taking the first step. You've been getting a lot more... You, you've been got. Okay. You've been got a lot more than usual lately. What's what the heck are you getting up to? Uh, not much. I mean, I never went to school. No. Riza, or the Riza, excuse me. Do you know where the big pot went, you know, that what used to be here? I was using it at the store of vegetables. Uh, the big pot, he had, he had vegetables in it, you know, like herbs. <laughs> anyway, I heard in town some rumor that you can use a common pot for alchemy. You wouldn't have anything to do with our common pot being missing, would you, the Riza? How's that been getting around town? <laughs> Like, just people Listen, in town are, are going up to Empel and asking, yeah. <laughs> Empel has just been, yeah, random people are coming up to him and asking about alchemy now. He really should it's turn the most his, interesting thing in this town. He kind of is, and they're him and Lila. Like, I, he, I suppose he could just be charging <laughs> people for the info. Now... Have you seen that woman? She has gigantic ears. And they yeah, pop around everywhere. Amongst other things. All that's left now. Okay, still not enough. Old habits. I know we've, we've momentously moved past taking the first step, but that's not enough to move things on to this guy. For this guy. Of this guy to this guy. For this guy. <laughs> Between this guy. So we were hoping that maybe you knew some alchemy trick that could build like an entire hideout. Maybe? I did say you could always come to me, 
But did you really give up figuring out how to make an entire house by yourself so quickly? That's kind of what I was saying. Well, I, I just figured it wouldn't be that easy just to, you know, have a house emerge from an alchemy pot, you know? A true alchemist must always first attempt to create necessary recipes themselves. Does it have to be a serious effort? Can I just, like, throw a grape at a stick and tell you I tried and then have you give me the answer? Well, shrugging is required if you do that. Huh? Imagine the final result. Pillars, walls, even the entire structure itself. Then work backwards to imagine a new recipe. Imagine a new recipe? So it's like making the ne necessary tools with alchemy? What? You must, you must use your intuition. Lead, your, <laughs> lead you from your imagination to results, okay? The materials are simply a catalyst. You know, they don't even matter. You could throw in, like, anything. Oh, uh, imagination, results, materials, words. Okay, okay. I think I know what I need to do. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Spouting out platitudes till you give me the answer. <laughs> uh, words, hide out, imagination, uh, man, <laughs> woman, car. Ears, monocles. I can't remember, like, Trump's famous, like, mental acuity test. Because <laughs> my memory's not good enough. I'm senile. Okay, um, thank you. I guess, Empire, I'll be back after an attempt. Yeah, thanks so much. Whatever, whatever, use my words. Well, actually, whatever use my words may be is up to you. I expect you to surprise me with the outcome, whether it be good or bad. <laughs> Whatever use of my words may be is up to you. I take no responsibility for whether my words make any sense. It's entirely up to you what my words are. Okay, I'll build a new hideout for sure and let you see the results for yourselves. Oh, uh, thanks for acknowledging that I'm here. But yes, legally, I take no responsibility for my own words. You signed a paper before you came in here, to that effect. I, I signed a paper? Well, I can <laughs> oh, I haven't laughed this hard in so long. My ears are going crazy with laughter. What is it? They usually don't do that. Guess I've never seen her excited before. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking how adorable you alchemists can be. Hmm. I have alchemical vials on my belt, but no Christmas ornaments. Everyone's changing, part one. Okay, Actually, I'm pot. not changing. Did you know a common pot can be used for alchemy in a pinch? I'm not changing either. Alright, so now are we gonna... Yeah, what are we, are we, what are we actually doing? Yeah, we're going to her house to brainstorm ideas. You know, this, 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 <laughs> there, there are elements of walking simulator to this game for sure. I just, I just want it to be like this, where it's like, <laughs> there's a bunch of racket upstairs, and Mio's like, Theresa, are you making the entire house up in our house? Wow, Mom, you really sound a lot like me, don't you? So, Rizzo, do, I mean, Theresa, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, please forgive me, I'm so sorry, I'm so nervous. <clears throat> so, Theresa, do you really think you figured out how to put together the hideout, or were you just talking a bunch of shit? Because Empo was being a douche. Even if it's not that big, it's still a proper building. You can't just do it all in a day. Take Rome, for example. Plus, if you're not careful, it might collapse, right? Let's all dogpile on how you can't do this. I can't explain it as well as Ampel did. Did he explain it well? But I just... <laughs> he didn't even take responsibility for his words being anything useful. I just tried to imagine the final hideout I want. It needs to have, like... You know, swooping, uh, eaves and everything. Mm. Eaves are important. Imagine all the people. Yeah, that way I could figure out what materials and stuff I need to build something like that. Then all the left is using alchemy to synthesize exactly what I need. Uh oh, really? 
Okay, so it, this will go here, and then um, I put in all this stuff and pull out a uh, six by six by twelve foot, you know, beam. Mm -hmm. Six by six by twelve foot. That's like, that's a pretty thick beam. Well, it's six by six inches. Okay. <laughs> This is some of the materials I'll need. If we can get all this, and I assume that JG hasn't put on the box yet, I can build a house, I think. There's a lot together in order to synthesize everything that goes into a house, bro. What? All I can do is rely on my Twitch as Alchemist, and ask you to trust me. Good luck. I mean, well, heck, sounds like fun to me. You just need to get every. You just need us to get everything you wrote down, right? He I, knows he had like a gauntlet that looks like uh, Ninja Turtle fingers. I'm about to say thank you. Point. Thank you, by the way, for alchemizing my giant metal arm. I'm Nine Hall Zeger from Sam Wright's Showdown too, by the way. Yeah, I'm kind of intrigued to see how you're planning on building something like this. I don't have anything else to do. I mean, if I could go with them to gather these things, I think we would finally be true friends. I guess I'm thinking that, I'm not saying it out loud. Uh, what was that, Claudia? Were you thinking loudly over there? Uh, oh, nothing. Is there any way I can help? I'll be counting on you once we're done building. That entire useless when it comes to interior design. <laughs> My vast experience of attempting interior design with their assistance has proven that true. <laughs> they didn't even think about putting barrels in this room. Can you believe it? Well, I'm going to need your help with getting us the permits and helping us with the property tax assessment. That's a heck of a thing to say. Maybe I won't help out after all. I'm going to go back home and get beaten up by my dad. Yeah, come on, Rizzo. Show a little appreciation. How Excuse can... me? What would you call me? I mean, the Rizzo. How can you ever succeed without my whining? But, but sorry about that. I do appreciate your help, really. What do you do here again? <laughs> well then, why don't I prepare some food for all of us while you go out and gather the materials? Because as much as JG wants it, I'm just not going to be a playable until after this session is over. Really? Those cookies you made last time were delicious. That'll definitely help keep me motivated. Heck, that's enough by itself to get me to help out. I'm motivated entirely by cookies. Okay, give her a rest. Anyway, could I ask you to, you know, handle all the ingredients? Uh, uh, that's true. You might accidentally use them in some other senses if you hold on to them, huh? Yep, I totally would. I have no self-control. That's not something to brag about. Anyway, we know what we gotta do, right? So let's go to work and build ourselves a hideout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, everyone's shading has been updated. Red, I learned how to make a freaking house. Mm -hmm. Here's all the other stuff. See, we saw it. I didn't have to make the dirt it sits on. Maybe we're not actually making the uh, using the house that already exists. Okay. No, we're like straight up making the things to make an entire house, which is still... Yeah. That's a lot. Alright, well, let's see. So, it sounds like they are going to gather this stuff as part of the story. But we could do some of this already. Mm -hmm. Um... Before we go too far down that well, what do we actually need? Make one of the materials you came up with. Okay. We just got to do one and that'll trigger more story. So, seaweed well, soil we looks can... like it's pretty easy. Or we can make building material. It just uses, you know, wood. And I know we're a little low on wood, but I think we, we can budget. We don't have a lot of wood. Well, Ikey and Lumber are two separate things. Let's bear that in mind. We've only got... Uh, I don't even know how many Ikeys. Let's see. <laughs> They're rows of seven. <laughs> We've got uh, three, four, five, six, seven, forty-nine. We've only got about fifty some Ike, so we do need to be careful. Yeah, just fifty-five Ikes. Let's make the best Ike anyone's ever seen. 
I mean, this is our hideout. We should probably use the best quality we got, right? Yeah. And we got a recipe here. We only we got. Probably don't want to make another recipe for this. We can't make our house out of mixing oil. Well, true. The mixing oil will allow us to make healing chips, which we can use uh, to line our healing gerbils cage. <laughs> But what I'm also getting at is we have enough Ikey to come back and make another round of this. <laughs> we got Speed Charge Weasel Slayer Sponge Healing Chips. Yeah, bitch. Alright, now... We can go back and... Ooh, we can learn how to make healing chips. We can go back into the world of building materials. We don't have mixing oil. No, we have an ingot for the composite plate, so we should be able to do that, too. Alright. More quality. Put the fruit on there. All the composites. Mm. Man's flammable bark has all kinds of types on it. It's got yeah. fire and green. It's fancy as as, uh, as hell. Now, these are all roughly the same. Oh, that's still coming out building material. I guess I uh, didn't do that right if I really wanted the... Uh... Hmm. There's something I used along the way where... Maybe I need a better quality palma fruit so I can get this in one item. That's the highest quality we got, apparently. And it wasn't good enough. Okay. Well, in that case... Let's just get better quality. That got us the quality we were it's going. It's rather with. devastating. Rather this devastating material. <laughs> this would be a devastatingly powerful hideout now. Two units of building material. We it's, made plywood. It's b, b, b building material level B. All right, all done. With these two pieces of plywood, we'll have the best house ever made. Just leaves them together <laughs> like two playing cards. Sort of lean them against each other and hope they don't fall down. They sort of form a uh, a roof shape. Oh well, I wish I'd been paying closer attention. <laughs> Jesus, Lent. How can be sure it's amazing? You'd think I'd be the one who knew how to do this. What with the glasses and all. The materials turned into something completely different. It's like magic. We're just getting started. Keep bringing me materials, and I'll keep synthesizing all this stuff. But now we have to haul all the finished pieces to the clearing, right? This is some serious physical labor. Could you alchemize us up some, like, immigrant laborers? Um, I don't approve of Tao's joke. Yeah, why don't we have to carry it anyway? Why not just do the synthesis out in the forest? I need to concentrate when I'm doing it. So, outside is no good. I gotta have shelter. I wanna take my time and do it right. Wow, that sounds like the kind of thing a proper alchemist would say. I was just thinking the same thing. I am a proper alchemist. Come on, you two. Riz is trying her... I mean, the Riz is trying her best. Try not to discourage her. I thought they were encouraging her for once. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, that really wasn't our intention. It's just kind of our, our way of cheering her up by telling her she sucks. Really? Yeah, they're pretty bad about it, but I'd say it's about half and half. Either way, I'll show them what a true alchemist can do. 
pulls out a neutralizer. Watch, well, kicks him in the nuts. We've discovered the healing chips. Everyone's changing has been updated. We gotta make five of each necessary material, then give them to our friends in the pixie forest. Well, we're not gonna do that this time, folks. But perhaps we'll do it next time. Or perhaps we won't do it next time. One of those two things will happen next time. Well, I hope you'll join us then, because we're... we're I, you know, it, I, I'm trying to be excited about building a secret hideout, but I think the real achievement here is that we are past taking the first step. Join us for whatever second steps may, you know, run it. We may run into next time, folks. We'll see you then. Everyone's changing into people who've already taken the first step. Goodbye.